people that are a part of the program generally uh, have been disengaged from education for quite a long period of time. Um, they've been maybe not engaging in anything pro-social, they've been going down a path of any social behaviours, hanging out with the wrong crowd and they've started to engage with youth justice or they've been at risk of engaging. We striked up a partnership with TAFE Skills Tech in Acacia Ridge and we worked alongside our community partner City Point and basically we came up with the concept of serving the community and how can we get the young people involved in giving back to the community. We already reach um, approximately 4,000 families per week. We have a thousand clients come through our doors um, but we wanted to uh, further reach into our community. We came up with the idea of a barbecue trailer and we worked with Skills Tech to wrap a certificate around that project and actually have young people involved in the T2S program, a part of building the barbecue trailer that's then going to be used in schools um, as an early intervention method and a place to start conversations with young people who might be disengaging from schools. There was definitely a difference as you watch the young people grow and develop through the program. What we saw was um, at the start of the program the young people tend to hold on to their previous identity and um, maybe act in a way that, that's not deemed pro-social or effective group work and as the program goes on you see them kind of leave those identities and start to attach onto more pro-social identities which are encouraged in the program so that could be things like um, improving their communication, um, swearing less, um, having more motivation in what they want to do and starting to visualise goals for themselves and, and start to get excited when they complete them and they're working towards them. One thing that T2S have done really well is they've diagnosed the issues in Anala really well when it comes to their students um, and they've not only diagnosed it, they've come up with a plan um, to actually fix it. Um, so, so many of the kids um, don't graduate high school because they don't have confidence and they need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time and T2S can actually offer that as well. Uh, with this barbecue trailer, we uh, will be able to reach from 3,000 students to about 5,000 students um, on a monthly basis. Uh, we have a street team as well at City Point Church and we're able to take that barbecue trailer around um, instead of dragging along barbecue. It just makes our life so much easier to be able to do the, the great work uh, that we want to do in Anala. At the end of the certificate and once the young people had built the barbecue trailer, we held a graduation. We had about 150 people in attendance. The day was, was really, really exciting for the young people. Um, we celebrated completions, so young people who had completed the certificate, but we also celebrated the young people who were just a part of the certificate and didn't quite make it um, through to completion. For them that was really special to be involved in a celebration like that um, and that's what's really unique to T2S is that we don't say you have to graduate from the certificate to celebrate your successes um, and for these young people they may have never been a, a part of a celebration like that before. I think the news that we need to really share with the community is that the young people that might be committing offences or might be doing the wrong thing or um, those, those young people were victims first and they've had a lot done to them in their lives and they're up against a lot of things um, in order to, to change the pattern of behaviours that they've developed. They're doing a pretty good job considering what they're up against.